if, if I had done my honours, it would have made a, a much easier transition into doing a PhD. I actually had to fight quite hard to, to gain entry because I hadn't done any uh, formal or recognised research previously. I was finish, finishing a graduate diploma in clinical pharmacy and the research subject, uh, subject in that course was, was, was research-based. And as I was, we, and we had a small research project to do, and I quite enjoyed doing it, and it was interesting to me. Uh, and then, as I was finishing, I thought, well, what, what am I doing now? Um, and so there, there is a thing called a Doctor of Clinical Pharmacy at the UQ. I, I think it's still there, which is more clinically focused. And, and so I thought oh, I should go on to do that. And that also contained a small research project. But as we were developing it. The project became very large and I thought I'm actually more interested in the research side of it rather than the clinical component at the moment and so I switched and enrolled into a PhD and so even though I hadn't done my honours um, I had shown that I had enough um, practice and research experience to equate to what they would determine as an honours and, and I was lucky to obtain the Alan Grant Taylor Scholarship um, which is, a, which is a, a scholarship for PhD funding uh, in community pharmacy, so uh, I was fortunate to, to be able to get those things. And um, otherwise, it would have been I would have had to do go back and do my honours or masters or something like that before I would have enrolled. The point of the story is you don't have to have done your honours to, to do research later in life. Don't let that think for you that that closes a door. It doesn't. Uh, you know, I'm living proof. I was not the brightest of students going through university. I didn't get the greatest of GPAs, um, but I've recently submitted my PhD, so it is possible if you're interested.